Life in the fast lane. Check out what you got. See? So you're holding what is actually inside. Friends, a good morning to you. I've got my harmless farmer t shirt on. You know, he's a good man. He's one heck of a man, but I don't think he has the same haircut I do. I mean, you you gotta you gotta really look at the whole thing here. This is looking pretty sharp today. Sunday morning. We're going live today, by the way. It's been a while. Um, this job. Quick interjection. Let you know what's going down. We're in a we're in the Cowichan Valley, Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Just a glorious place to be. Um, if you're ever wanting to come to Vancouver Island to to explore and the experience the wonder. And the glory of the island. Get a hold of the drifter, friends. He'll guide you around and show you some places. He's drifted every back road, gravel road, logging road, with the safety squint on on his bike. <laughs> anyway, friends, big job. Lots of climbing. Skanky cedars. Big dead, full of powder worm. Some interesting surprises on this job. I love yous all. I hope you enjoy. Shoot the thumbs up, kick back, grab a coffee, and enjoy yourselves. Always do man checks, friends. Always do your man checks with your other climbers. Just turn your saw off and have a listen, right? You never know, could be in trouble. Right? We just gotta get ropes in these actually. Kick little tops out and get them. <laughs> the stuff above my head here. There it is again. See, I just throw it up over there. Boom, I love this two-in-one system. Love it. You see the little white marks on the limbs when I cut them off? Those little sawdust marks? Those are beetle. That's 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 the stuff. That's the beetle that gets in there. Powder worm, we call it. So, what's that doing there? Oh yeah, I see. Well, that's gonna hinder my two-in-one unless I get, get kind of crazy with that. So let's try this. One more time. Oh, what happened there? 
Oh, look at that. Okay. That worked, didn't it? Yeah, it did. There we go. See, here's the situation. Here, look. You see that up there? Look at here. I'm short, totally short strapped here. Grab onto some of this fuzz. Take a couple steps, max that bottom step out. You can actually even, there you go. Once you get it extra long, you can do that with it. Throw it over. Now we click in. Now we're double tied in. Very wonderful. Let's just quickly make a bit of fun here. Free to roam. Property, Cowichan Valley. It is quite beautiful here, but ah, get out of my cherry tree! This is bad here, real bad. But we just got to get ropes in them. Really, there's one we're falling. There's another one back there. Is in wretched shape. Look at that old growth right there, friends. So. Hogan's just finishing up his climb over there. I feel strong today, friends. Like, uh, I just do. I feel strong. I got two ropes hanging off my hip and I don't even feel it. That's the wonderful thing about carrying it off your, carrying weight off your shoulders. I used to hang it off my hip and it used to suck. <laughs> Okay. Friends, when you're cutting trees, any new climbers out there, when you're cutting and you're getting uh, close proximity to your face, shorter up on the strap, you know what I mean? And you got fuzz, you gotta watch that run on from the power saw. This thing's starting to make weird movements now. You know what I mean? Like you're moving your saw in around your face, all it takes I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Look at. So say you do that. See this right here? Say if you just clip this right here. If that was solid, that gets you right in your face. Be very conscious of that when you're cl cl cutting up in your face. Sonny, you could probably go to a, put a rope in that back one for me. That one? Yeah, it's coming out too. It's got a ribbon on it. Okay. Thanks, buddy. And this, this one's too tall, so I, I got to turn it into a pole. <laughs> So I think 
what I'm gonna do, friends, this is where you start to look at your top. It can go there, it can go right in line with what we're doing, but. That's our trail in, so do, do you know what I'm saying? So you gotta think about this. This thing here will go anywhere. It's short and dead. It'll probably fit right there. Morgan, is that some kind of a light right there? Yeah. I'm thinking right there. I'm gonna roll it right off of that thing. <laughs> The gardens right there were perfect right in that little line see that little tree right there whatever that is it's an alder or something it's still a beautiful little tree why nail it it's good it's a good shot nice little bit of hinge wood looking good hey friends we're couch and valley beautiful here just sent a little top we got a project we're on just put a little top in between that nice little green tree down there and that cedar right in the hole there uh, she's quite dry uh, You can see that Pretty dry we got this situation behind us and uh, And there's one Ganges climbing behind there to hang a rope and we're gonna send this stuff right through there See that through there through that Arbutus and that cedar we got hydro there So we had to shorten stuff up That's the plan and uh, I'm feeling strong today. Look at this, I got two ropes hanging off my hip. I don't even feel it. It's because, it's because I'm carrying the weight on my shoulders with, with straps. Okay, we're tied in here. Ganges is over there. And that's what I got behind me. And we're couching valley. It's just glorious out here. Wild West Garage is here. So these are new systems for me. So I kind of always, I'm very cautious. I'm not used to this, but it looks good, feels good. Cause this is my, my spar tree, right? It's my spar for this stuff. I'm not gonna, I don't need to do much here, but I do have to take a top. So I'm gonna shoot over fairly quick and probably annihilate that as I go. Just to, like horribly just ruin it. 
Hogan's set. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go down about right there and tear this stuff apart and probably let a top go out of this. I actually don't need to because it will not hit the line. I'll be able to stuff this thing through there, I think. But I just want to shorten it, you know? I got my, my scare strap out in front of the tree now because all the foliage is off this tree. I'm not going to bury it with anything. You see what I'm saying? That wouldn't be good. So I think, I think this is probably good enough right here. And I'll just go over here now. I think that's good enough. Oh. This thing is one of these. It's it's gone. Okay. It's just it, you know what I mean. It's cedar, so it's still sound, but it is quite mushy. I'm sinking in pretty good. I I want this to go. I'm working alone, like alone as far as not having a ropeman. Hydro there. Um, it seems to be a fairly straight up and down tree. There's no distribution of weight anywhere, no major uh, uh, leans. So it's not recommended, but it does work. Now what we've got here, friends, is, is a tree that died on one side, whether it was, uh, what do you call it? Lightning, I'm not sure, but you can see what's happened here, right? Look at this. See this thing's trying to grow here, see this? There's the cambium. That, that's actually live wood right there, friends, okay? If I, if I crank that, this live, th isn't that amazing? Look at how these trees do this, okay? But you can see what we got here, and we got hydro right there. So I would still like to go in my same spot. Uh, I don't have to. To be honest, I don't. I could. Yeah, it's mushy. I could go right there, which is actually a pretty good idea, and I think I will do so just because of the, the feel of this tree. Now, it, it says it'll go anywhere really, but I may have to push. So I'll show you what we're gonna do, but you see this? You see this here? This is not good. Look at, this This is actually terrible. So your holding wood's gone, look at. This, this is not good, the sun is that way. So that'll tell you that the thing's probably leaning that way and this is probably a better call. Now that I now that I think about it. Oh yeah, look at this thing. So, but for some reason it's talking to me here. Wow, it is spongy. Yeah, see? Let's have a look here. We got hardwood on this back side, friends. No, you know what? No. It's going there. Look, there's more weight. It's going back here. I'm glad I checked that out. Check it from all sides. Let's go get it. Let's get it. So, I'll show you the trick. It's, it's no trick, really. Now, you got hydro there. You want to know where your holding wood is, right? Let's put it right in here. Let's just strip it by there. There's a tree fort there. So I want to go kind of right there. 
Right there. Let's do it. Ooh, it's spongy. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. This is a good call. A very good call. This thing is really spongy, friends. Let's get our strap good down and low. There we go. Okay. So now I'm under the tree. You know what I mean? Hope I got enough gas. Okay. Right there. Spongio. Get down good and low. Look at this. There's no hold wood over there. Look. See? Check out what you got. See? So your hold wood is actually inside. There we go. Let's send it. Before I run out of gas. Look at how deep it is. Little Dutchman there. See that? See? And it even broke. It, 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 you, you'll notice it, it kind of, it just busts off a little bit. But I knew I'd be on that side of the tree. Hydro's there. There's a fence down there. We're all good. You see what I mean? So these, these rotten ones can get you. They, they can get you and surprise you. You know, it, it was predominant that way. It took me a few minutes to gather my, my bearings on the lean, but I opened it up. I don't, this is tree work. This is about getting it done and pool, foolproof methods, not, you know, trying to, you know what I mean, friends. Sometimes by the book is harder, very much harder. If I had done a little undercut, I'd have had to push that, which is fine, but get you on the ground. Let's go make some stumps. <laughs> well, friends, we have, uh, We've pretty much reached the end of time-wise because there's so much more on this job that uh, we don't have time to do it. So I'm going to kick in my old ball exercise that actually allows me to do what you were just watching. Guaranteed. Helps me anyways. I do 30 seconds here like this, one arm. I do another 30 seconds like this. And then I actually do 30 seconds with the leg out. Then I do another 30 seconds. Where am I going? with the leg out like this. People ask me about this exercise. Friends, I was crushed in 2006, crushed by a tree.
didn't walk for four months after, so I had to learn all those things again, right? Figured my career was over. It was, it was devastating. It was one of the lowest points of my life. I thought it was over, friends. This is the one that separates the men from the boys, right here. This is the one. Diagonal. One arm, one leg. Like this. When you get advanced, this will be yours. This will strengthen your life, not just your core. You think sit-ups are good? Sit-ups are, are fine, but I've, I've never experienced any benefits like this in my life. Friends, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, buckandbillyray.com for all your goodies and shirts and hats and stuff, stickers. Thanks to the super thanksers. And as always, be kind, friends. See you on the next one.